What's up guys? Welcome back once again. It is me, Malt. So happy to be here with you guys. Today we are doing a farming base for Town Hall 8. So I just posted a trophy base. Um, <clears throat> it's been doing okay. Obviously guys, when it comes to base designs, uh, some may work better for me than you because your defenses aren't upgraded as well or because you don't get troops donated or anything like that. So keep that in mind as you build these bases. Um, and definitely tweak them to your liking and however you see fit. If you think things need to be moved, move them. This is just my opinion of, <clears throat> of a base that I think will work pretty well. So, um, I'm liking the way that this, that this base, uh, looks. I already got attacked once and I'll show you all the attack. I got attacked by a bunch of balloons and wizards and, and it held up pretty well. So, <clears throat> I have the base over here on my right. I'm going to go ahead and just start bringing in some of this stuff. So first off, Dark Elixir, we really want to protect that because we're close to upgrading our king again. So we're going to put that in the center. We're going to put our king right next to it because he's like, hey, this stuff makes me powerful. I'm going to freaking guard it with my life. So I got my king in there guarding it with his life. We're going to put our clan castle right here and we're going to put a gold storage right here. So gold and Dark Elixir are important to me. So that's why they are in the middle. And then we've got our... Uh, we've got our clan castle right here in the middle as well. We could move it down like that, but I'm going to keep it a little tighter so that it protects well. And then we've also got these skeleton traps up here that are going to work as another mini uh, clan castle on the top portion of the base. So you always want to oppose those, or at least that's my opinion on it, because they are like mini clan castles. They really help with distracting troops and causing an okay amount of damage while they're at it. So... There's the core of our base. Next, we're going to bring in uh, some of our resources because this is a farming base. So we're going to have two gold storages right there. And what do I always say about your loot? you got to protect it with your wizard towers, all right? So we're going to bring in our wizard towers. We're going to put <coughs> one wizard tower right there to protect both of those gold storages as well as the dark elixir. And then we're going to bring in our other one right here. Now, we do have four mortars now, which is freaking crazy. It's going to help protect the base so, so much. Uh, we're going to put our low-level one right over here that's still upgrading. And then we're going to bring the rest of them around like this, like this, and like this. Now, those may seem like they're a little bit close to the edge, but that's okay because we're going to have other buildings in here that the troops are going to go to because of the open walls. Uh, also, you can see the little red line right there. It does uh, go outside, but it doesn't reach to the edge of this portion. So when troops are spawned, that red line is not going to be bad until they get inside of those walls right there. So we're going to bring another giant bomb right here. Anybody wants to come in, go ahead. I'm fine. You can knock on the door all you want to, but you're going to get blown up on your way in. <laughs> so we've got one more wizard tower that we need to bring in. We're going to put that thing right here. As you can see, it's going to be protected by archers from this wall right here. Uh, so that's the whole reasoning behind having that there. And then we are going to bring in uh, an archer tower and put it right there. We're going to bring in a cannon right here. I always say to spread out your point defense. So do like archer cannon, archer cannon, archer cannon. Because your cannons don't shoot air defenses, but your archers do. So you definitely want to make sure that you have that. We are going to bring that Tesla right there. We're going to bring another giant bomb right here. And that little portion of the base is going to be done. Next, we need to bring in our elixir storage. So we've got an elixir storage right there. Once again, that is protected by the wizard. And then we bring in this one. And again, that is protected by the wizards. Wizards do so much damage that you want them to protect. You want them to protect your resources in um, farming bases. So that's the reason that I have those there. Next, let's go ahead and bring in our air defenses. We're going to put one right here. We're going to put one right here. And we're going to put one right here. Air defenses aren't too important to me because I do have my archer towers as well. Um, and I always use my archer towers to protect my air defenses as well, just like this. So that's the reasoning behind doing that. Since they both do air defense, if someone drops off a whole bunch of balloons, I'm going to have my archer tower shooting it as well as the air defense. Um, so that's the reason that those overconnect. And then we're going to have this uh, cannon right here and this cannon right here and those could distract some of the balloons depending on where they come in which is going to leave the air, de air defense up for even longer i'm going to put one of my uh, elixir storages right there otherwise it would go in the middle if you want your king on the outside you can put your king out here and you can bring your elixir storage in but obviously that is up to you i want my king in the middle because he wants to be next to his dark elixir that's his uh his powerful steroid juice so <laughs> that's why he's protecting it now we're going to bring in cannon and archer, cannon and archer, just like I said, spread them out all around the base. Um, we're going to bring this in. We've got some Teslas to bring in up here at the top next to our skeleton traps. And those should be doing a great job of protecting right there. 
Uh, we can move this one over one more. And then we've got our spring traps up in here for anybody that comes in and tries to attack either of these. We've got some spring traps in here, so if anyone breaks in down here, they're going to go through the wall, pop right there, go to this, and then either head here or here. And then that uh, spring trap right there will get them as well. Using your spring traps effectively is super, super important. Um, we've got the core of the base down. Now I'm going to talk to you guys about what I do with building placement on the outside of the base. So you want to make sure that you don't have <clears throat> too many resources next to each other, right? Because if you have too many resource buildings right next to each other, then someone can just drop and take all your loot that's in your mines and pumps. So what we always do is I do uh, random building loot. So we've got army camp loot, spell factory loot, army camp. So now we're going to bring in some more loot. So loot right here and loot right here. And then barrack, we can put a builder set right in here if we want to. And then loot again, spread them out, and barrack, and loot again. I think I had this one over a little bit. And then we can bring in a builder's hut right there. And then we'll go ahead and do army camp right up here, and army camp right here as well. And then we can bring this thing down here, put that right there to block, to block that entrance a little bit. I just said to block that entrance. Uh, dark barracks and more loot right there and then we're going to just continue on around we've got dark elixir drill and then uh barrack as well go ahead and bring this right down here and then another barrack in between and then we'll just do builder's hut and builder's hut and we will save our village right there and you can see that's the base i think that it looks pretty well uh it already defended good against one of the initial attacks the giants oh gosh see that's what i'm hoping will happen with the other troops is that they'll attack right here walk in boom get wrecked and then head right over here to this cannon i might actually bring these over here to spring anybody uh out that gets in and again guys you always want to have your spring traps before your bombs so that you shoot full health characters off the map not half health characters because if you shoot half health attackers then you're wasting a trap in my opinion because they would die anyways in a moment of second so let's go ahead and watch this uh defense replay so i just built this so i got, it got attacked 33 minutes ago let's go ahead and watch only 25 percent on the base obviously his uh defenses aren't upgraded too well or his uh troops aren't he's got uh level four balloons level four archers level three wizards couple of heal spells and a rage spell let's go ahead and fast forward so he drops one balloon off down there i don't really know what his idea was behind that but <clears throat> that pulled out those wizards and now those wizards are going over to take out those archers over by the town hall um, but he has one wizard up there let's go ahead and watch he does attack from this top left side and you can see he's going to use his heal spells right there the teslas are up the giant bombs are up the wizards are doing work we've got a couple more wizards in the clan castle right there and our archer right here is working well we've got this air defense down here that is protecting as well as this wizard tower that is doing some serious damage he dropped down uh, that heal spell, but our wizards are not having it, and neither is our air bomb. So he's dropped off these other lower level wizards working their way around. So I know that wasn't a max level attack, but it was a full attack. It was a full attempt at destroying the base, and he only got 25% of it and not much loot at all. So the base is holding up well after the first attack. Um, normally, a base that I put on YouTube won't be the final. I'll edit it a little bit so you guys can check out uh, the account Gaming with Molt. Just Search for it. It's in Golgotha Elite and uh, figure it out from there. If I ever change stuff, I might announce it, show you guys some more defense replays. But I hope you guys like the video. Uh, I really do appreciate you all watching. It means a lot to me. You guys rock. Um, and hey, as always, make sure you keep calm and you clash on for me, right? I'll see you guys later. Peace.